A big day for us here at Global Television as we celebrate a milestone. 30 years ago, September 1st, 1975, Global Television was born. Over the next course of three decades, our founder, Israel Asper, took an abandoned Safeway building and turned it into a media conglomerate. Global's Chris Babowski takes a look back. September 1st is the anniversary for CKND Television. 30 years ago, Israel Asper launched the station. It wasn't, however, brand new. Asper bought the station from Texas businessman Gord McClendon and moved it from Pemina, North Dakota, to Winnipeg. The original call letters KCND were switched to CKND. A small change in letters, but big changes for the prairies. We created a national, third national Canadian television network, giving more voice to Canadians. We did it in Winnipeg. We changed the dynamics of the television industry in Canada. The station went up at the junction of St. Mary's and St. Anne's, a former Safeway and car dealership. It's where the station is today. From the beginning, CKND would truly belong to Winnipeg. Hi, I'm Peter Lieber, Vice President and Assistant General Manager of CKND. Right from the start, we'll be placing a strong emphasis on community events because we believe this is an important area of programming. The station kicked off with a Jerry Lewis telethon. CKND continues to be involved with the community. Since 1981, it's proudly hosted the Variety Club Telethon, helping to raise over $18 million. Oh! CKND has produced many award-winning shows, like Ask the Doc, CKND Magazine, and Big Sky Country with country star Ray St. Germain. The news and sports departments brought Winnipeg its local events and weather. Over the past 30 years, many broadcasters have made stops and stays. Another important change over the last 20 years, computers. Since 1975, the station has also brought Manitobans shows they couldn't get anywhere else. From Maud and SWAT and the Beverly Hillbillies in the 70s to the Beverly Hills 90210, Fraser, Coach, The X-Files and The Simpsons Today. Although the equipment has changed over the past 30 years, CKND still strives to inform and entertain. Chris Babowski, Global News, Winnipeg. It's a milestone indeed, and close to 200 people celebrating Izzy Asper's first television station, CKND, right here at the station tonight. Izzy is with us, not only in spirit, but looking down from above, contentedly puffing away on a cigarette, <laughs> Politicians, dignitaries, and employees from past and present were on hand to reminisce about old stories and what it was like when they flicked uh, the, the whole switch. Feat of uh, converting a supermarket to a television station, which had never been done before, uh, was uh, stressing at times, but uh, also terrific. I mean, they really had no idea if, when they literally turned the switch, whether anything would actually happen. It was like one of those light switches on your walls that you turn on off all the time and. Nothing ever happens. From here on, it's, it's future planning. It's the new generation taking over, new ideas, new uh, new viewpoints, and it is a new world in which we're functioning. So. Still ahead on Global News.